Check out these funky cloud formations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Look at him go, guys. That is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an area where the trails are really, really difficult to ride. It breeds really good, skilled, technical riders, and I'm going to show you that stuff today. So. I don't have rocks and logs here, the kinds of moves you might actually come across out on the trail. I've got boxes and ramps and triangles, but I'm going to mimic. Hey, how's it going? Moves. I'm going to start small and work my way up. Good. How many of you guys have yeah, some Yeah, we got to do right, something this summer. I'm in. Okay. All right, all so, right. So, I'm riding for you guys today. Look I am going to talk about finding some Oh, yeah. Crafts and things. I have a bigger camera, but I didn't bring it today. It's a great time to work out whatever it is that you love to do. So, I hope that as I'm riding, you relate my bike riding to whatever it is you love to do. This is my hobby. This is what I grew up doing, all right? So I hope you guys have something similar. If any of you guys want to move up to this pad right here, you can, because that'll be a much better view up here. All right, guys, so where are the second graders? All right. So, guys, I started riding bikes in second grade. Do you guys think when I started riding bikes it was a good move? Do you think when I started I was doing really good moves? Let's see. All right, so... Let's see here. All right, so the very, very first move I learned how to do, I would pull into my school parking lot. I get going as fast as I can. You guys ready? Yeah. I can't yeah. Let's make some noise. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was that a very good move? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, that's kind of the idea. All right, guys, when I started riding, I was not particularly good at it. It was something I enjoyed doing. I stuck with it. I got better very slowly. All right, but after a couple of years of riding, I got a bit better. These days, when I get on my bike, the first move I generally do is something a little bit better. That's a wheel. Oh, a yeah, buddy. That's a little bit better. All right. So, what you guys are going to notice throughout my riding today, when you have a move figured out, you don't just keep doing the same move, showing off all day, all right? What you do is you learn each skill independently on the ground in a safe way, and then you build on those skills. So, once I had the wheelie figured out, I don't just ride wheelies all day, I learn how to like turn corners maybe. Then once I have that figured out, I learn how to stop and hop on the back tire. Then once I've got that figured out, I can learn how to kind of scare my friends a little bit with that. <laughs> nice. So far, so good, guys? All right. Woo! All right. So, once I have the regular wheel figured out, then you kind of go back to the drawing board, start over again, practice a more difficult version of the wheel. That goes like this. Whoa. There we go. And then guys, once you have both of those moves figured out, you can kind of pair them together. We start calling those combo moves. So, once you got those two figured out, you can do front wheelie, back wheel wheelie, and start wow. doing some three sixes. Man, so far so good? Yeah! Let's still warm up. All right. So, 
Once I started riding, guys, I went to a contest in about sixth grade, all right? When I went to that contest, I thought all of the riders would show up. They would be practicing really difficult, dangerous stuff, warming up for the contest. All right, some of the best riders in the world went to that first contest. But when the riders got there, the senior guys who were better than me, they would actually practice on something as simple as a line painted on the ground. All right, they would practice their balance on that line. They'd practice something way more difficult than standing still on the bike, which is riding slowly. And if you're actually feeling really good, sometimes you can knock out a... Ooh, all right, the idea, guys, yeah. you all of your skills and techniques down on the ground, all right? But that's kind of boring for a bike show. So should we ride on this stuff? Yeah. I can't hear you guys. Should we ride up on that stuff? Yeah. That's more like it. All right, so like I said, guys, out on the mountain bike trail, you come across yeah. rocks. You come across logs. All right, we will pretend that that is a big rock out on the mountain bike trail. So I showed you guys the front wheelie. I showed you the... Those guys are good right there. I'm not riding over there anymore. They're good. All right, guys, so we're going to pretend that that's a big rock out on the mountain bike trail. I will use those same two moves that I showed you to get onto that. It happens kind of quick, guys. It goes wheelie, front wheelie. Wow. Super easy, right? Who thinks they can do that after seeing it one time? <laughs> yeah, right, okay. All right, guys, so this is really what mountain bike trail is all about. You get your bike and your body. Without using your hands and feet, you try to get the bike and body onto and over. Oh my god. Awesome. Wow. So far, so good? Yeah. All right, once you get up, you have to get down. Once you get up, you have to get down. Down. All right, so I'm going to show you how we do a steep technical downhill or a descent, all right? The reason I'm showing you guys each individual part of my moves again. Whatever it is you like to do, there are skills involved in every bit of what you're doing. Right? When you watch a bike rider on TV, it looks effortless. There are certain skills they're doing, all right? So I'm going to show you kind of when we're doing a steep descent. Number one, guys, fingers on the brakes. I have really good brakes. So I can use one finger per lever. Number two, arms way out in front of you like that, all right? And number three, most important, you stick your hiney out way behind you like this, all right? Try to keep your weight as far back as possible, otherwise you go on your head. So, arms out, butt back, slow and steady. Yeah! All right, what do we think? Move your leg higher? Yeah! So I told you guys that was like hopping over a big rock out of the mountain bike trail, right? What's another common obstacle on the mountain bike trail? Shout it out. A log, that's right. Do you guys see a log here? All right, so I need one of your teachers. Oh boy. Who would be a good standing log. Now I was told that Mr. Lewis would make a good log. Mr. <laughs> I was told oh, that Mr. Lewis would be idea for this, so let's get him out here. Let's make some noise for Mr. Lewis. Uh, woo! Yeah, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> you guys are right, he's perfect for this. All right. <laughs> One more time for our volunteers. The human sacrifice. <laughs> all right, Mr. Lewis. Oh, my see. goodness. I'm doing all right. Better than you. So, I need your position right there. Oh, my goodness. Nicely done. All right, guys. So, oh, God. The first move I showed you is called a front touch. And if you were paying attention, you remember that that move entails lifting your front tire, slamming it into your obstacle. Oh, my. Like oh, there. my. So, a great way to get over Mr. Lewis, but <laughs> we are going to try a bunny hop. Who knows what a bunny hop is? Yeah. Bunny hop. Somehow more of you can do it than know what it is. That doesn't seem right. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so a bunny hop is a three-part move. Again, I'm going to explain to you these moves. Not so you bunny hop, Mr. Lewis, but so you understand that, again, components are practiced separately and going to move. So. This is a three-part move, guys. Part number one and part number two are easy. Part number three is difficult, all right? Part one, we lift on the front tire, all right? We just lean back and lift. And whether you do that a little bit or even if you do that a lot, that would be a problem for Mr. Lewis because the back wheel would not come off the ground, all right? So we need to figure out how to lift the back tire. Oh boy. So step number two guys, we pick a forward foot. I saw some of you guys riding out there making turns with one foot up and one foot down like this. That is incorrect. 
Triple jerk. All right, when we are doing bicycle tricks or we're making hard turns on our bikes, we always do it with our feet flat. All right, generally the rule is if you would kick a soccer ball with your right foot, you would ride your bike left foot forward, right? You keep that strong foot back. So, step two is flat feet. And now step number three, guys. This is the hard part. We push our feet down, back, and up, and scoop that back tire off the ground. But again, guys, a little bit, or even a lot, is a problem for Mr. Lewis. So we're going to try doing them all together. You guys ready? It doesn't sound like it. You guys ready? All right. Bayhead, let's make some noise for our volunteer. Whoa, that was close. He's pretty good at this. All right, we're going to try to have You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's make some noise for the Woo! Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you're not done yet, Mr. Lewis. Let's see here. We're just going to practice a couple more little precision moves here. Make sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's like, right, sit. are you kidding and me then, right now? You know, the one thing we haven't spoken about yet is bike safety. All right, this seems like a good time. What is on my head right now? Helmet. Back there? What is on my head right now? Helmet. A helmet, that's right, guys. I have had, in about 25 years of bike riding, I have had two really, I have had a helmet, that's right, but I have had two really bad crashes, all right? Neither of them were doing tricks or riding in contests. Right? My two worst crashes were riding my bike to middle school, up at Summit Middle School in North Jersey. Right? And my other worst crash was riding my bike with a cup of coffee in my hand. Right? I spilled the coffee on myself and I fell off my bike. Right? So, you never know when you're going to have an accident. You never know when you're going to have a crash. But what is on your head in every case? Helmet. What is on my head in each case? Helmet. What is on your head on your bike to scooter your skateboard? Ske helmet. That should be on Mr. Lewis's head. A uh, helmet. That's right, Mr. Lewis. Arms nice and tight next to your body. Go ahead. Let's make some noise for a volunteer ride. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Let's hear for Mr. Lewis, guys. Woo! Nicely done. All right. All right, guys, one more time. Let me see you guys put your hands up. Who has something they love to do? They're working on a hobby, a sport. All right. So guys, good job. Good job. I really like to do my better Good than job. Airplanes and That's gutsy, man. I'll tell you what. Because <laughs> that was the closest we had. Okay, we draw a runway on the ground. We ride our bikes like they were airplanes, right? It was something my buddy was really, really into. We started riding bikes just to kind of simulate that. We had a great class up at Summit, guys. Everybody supported one another. I helped out Davey with his airplane and piloting and all that. I started to develop a passion for bike riding. I stuck with bike riding. Davey is an Air Force pilot these days. The idea, guys, whatever it is you love to do, you keep on working on it, you support each other. Again, you've got summer coming up. It's a great time to build on your hobbies and skills. Can you give yourselves a big round of applause for making the most of this summer? Are oh, you guys want to see some tougher tricks now? I can't hear you. guys want to see some tougher tricks? Our without putting our hands and feet down. So, we will stop and think about what we're going to do. The trick is turning the front wheel to the side. Nobody can balance on their bike with the front wheel straight. So you turn the wheel to the side. You rock side to side till you're ready. Okay, let's count this one down. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right, pretty good. All right, guys, they're going to show you one more kind of balance move. Then we're going to go really high. Right? How many of you play a sport with a coach and practice? How many of you are maybe in the band and you have band practice, right? Okay. Guys, when I started riding, I went to my first contest. I got dead last place. I, I thought I should have been a pro level rider. In sixth grade, I went to my first contest. I got dead last place. What I realized, guys, I only practiced the stuff I liked to do. I did not practice anything I did not like to do. So, I started making myself drills just like a coach would do. So, we've got these triangles here, guys. This is all about tire eye coordination. The idea is putting the tires exactly where you want them, guys, right? Tire eye coordination. What do you think? Keep going. All right. All right, guys. So, I showed you the track stand a second ago. Another way we can balance is by doing these little hops to keep balance. And then the final way that you can balance, 
And I don't know why they call it this art, but it's called the dog pee. You go like this, and you can kind of balance like that. You stick that leg out like an outrigger. It's the dog pee, all right? But anyway, whenever you feel good, centered, and balanced, there we go. What are they? Woo! Yeah. What do you guys think? Up on that biggest box up there? Yeah. All right, let's give that a shot. So. All right, guys, I have shown you the front touch. I'm showing you the bunny hop. I'm going to show you my least favorite move. Again, after going to that first contest, I realized I need to practice the stuff I do like and the stuff I don't. Well, guys, <laughs> yes, another <clears throat> um, a little gig log. Um, I, I've tried to focus mostly, mostly on the bike rodeo, but... Um, yeah, we had a bike rodeo at school, and the kids, you know, they rode on their bikes, and the police, you know, you know, were there, and they set up this little obstacle course and stuff, and I guess they did, like, bike inspections and make sure they, you know, wore the helmets right and everything, and uh, it was a good day, and uh, I didn't take tape I'll record that much of the uh, DJing because, you know, I, I was doing a little announcing here and there. So it was harder today to do it than, you know, at a regular gig because I had to make sure people weren't saying, oh, can you make this amount of an announcement? So anyway, I hope you liked it. Um, and, um... I will be back soon, um, probably before fr Friday with another video. So, uh, this is your pal Trish signing off, saying peace, love, and keep the good tunes spinning. Remember, live with a purpose and walk with a smile. I love and appreciate you all. Take care.